Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. This is my most recent build, just finished for a customer. It'll be showing up in an hour to pick her up. This is actually a GMC Canyon, a Denali edition, a little diesel. It's a pretty cool little truck. Um, the back of the bed here is um, six foot exactly. And uh, he wanted to make some sort of a cool little kind of Baja style build like I've done before. So to walk you through this real quick, the first thing first is this side, we have a carpeted top that is about 26 inches wide. And underneath it, we have a massive drawer. I'll show you this real quick. So hold on the handle, click your drawer down, pull her out. This is on five foot, 500 pound locking drawer slides. He wanted this so that he has a nice area to like cook and prep food and whatnot. He also still sit on his tailgate while he's kind of hooking up here. He wanted to keep the drawer um, just over the wheel well so it's slim enough um, to not be super high up when he's cooking when you add the stove and the uh, pot of water and all that good stuff. So my classic false tops in here, as you can see, I included um, three dividers for him. So you can take that one out, you can take this one out as well. Um, he didn't need this one because he's going to fit a stove in here. So you can fit all kinds of food and gear and whatnot in here. He's a pretty minimal camper um, for what he's saying, so he just needed just enough room under his bed to keep all this kind of stuff. He's fit right back in like so. Your locking slide down, push it all back in, and it locks in. So as well, he wanted to have all these little extra spaces um, able to have storage. So we include a couple little kind of secret cubbies in here. This whole entire thing is actually going to be removable. So there's about four or five um, screws and bolts for our, this uh, system and for this side as well. So you can take both of them out in 10 minutes or so if you ever needed to, he wanted that to happen. There's one there, one little guy here. And then up here is a bigger one. Since there's a five foot drawer slide, we get an extra foot up here. Um, a couple of cool little like hidden storage compartments for him. Oh, a little sideways, there we go. Um, as well, he wanted to have some sort of little night light here, which is kind of a cool idea. So this is the little tap to touch. Turns on like a little night light and book kind of lamp for when he's reading at night. A little USB plug built into it, which is kind of a cool little addition. All these cool little things I will have uh, links to in the description of the video. I find a lot of my stuff on Amazon because it comes pretty quickly when the customer comes to me and says, this is what I want my build. I can order them all pretty quick, get it here the next day and go on with the build. So moving along over to this side, um, as I said, this is kind of like my Baja style build. So it gives you an area where you have a little countertop if you were to be stuck inside your truck wanting to cook something or work on whatever. So first things first, he has brought me the Goal Zero 500 Yeti. And he wanted a specific way for it to be wired up. So I'm gonna explain it to you as easy as I can. So if you can see in here, we have a battery, marine, uh, marine battery switch in here. So it has the old off one, two, and one, two, pl uh, one plus two. Right now it is on the one position. So this is actually sending power. Sorry, it is actually getting power from the goal zero to a fuse box back here, which then sends power to the water pump, this little light back here, and then this whip of wires up here, which is eventually gonna be a roof fan vent. Um, those are back ordered right now with what's going on in the world. So that's just kind of ready to go. So right now when it's on one, you can click on on your goal zero like so. And I already showed you the light is on. And you also have your little water pump, which has a little sink up here. Turn that guy on. And you got a little sink. He kind of wanted to have something just to kind of wash his hands, brush his teeth, things like that. Also, when you open inside of here, you can see there's a 20 liter water tank in here. I included a cool little hose for him so that if you wanted to go outside, squirt off his feet or fill up a water bottle or something like that, he can. So that thing works pretty easily. Just throw the little valve right here. It actually comes out pretty quick. So that's pretty fun. Gotta make sure there's no water left in there. Roll it back up, fits in here. Turn off your water pump. I as well made quick disconnects so that if you ever need to pull your water jug out completely, you can quick disconnect to that so you can get your water jug out nice and easy. Closing that. Um, so the other option for this switch is you have the off position and you have number two and that has been wired directly to the car battery. So if you have an instance where your goal zero is just not with you or it dies or something happens, you can actually run all these appliances off his car starter battery. 
Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that all the time, but he wanted the option to do so. So that's how we did that. So now, as you can see, we turn off the goal zero. Um, now it's all the car battery. So if I were to flick this light on, it turns on, and there is no outputs coming from the goal zero. So this is all energy coming from the car battery. So as I said, you wouldn't want to use it all the time, but it's a nice option to have. Um, if you want to bring it around in here, I can show you that there's a couple quick disconnects in here. So as I said, he wanted to remove all of these cabinetry. So I have four disconnects in here, one for the uh, light in here, one for the car battery, uh, and one for the water pump. So he can disconnect all these and pull his whole cabinet out. Now the last thing I want to show you is the input for the goal zero. So he wanted this to be wired specifically so that only when the car is running, the goal zero would have power. So I'm gonna go around and turn on the car real quick. All right, so now that the car is on, you can hear the little diesel engine. I'm gonna come back in here. And you can see now that the blue light on the goal zero is on. In a second here, you'll see the inputs jump up. There she goes. She's starting to jump up. So now energy is actually going into the goal zero and is charging the goal zero. So whenever he drives, his goal zero will be topped off on his way out to camping or around town or anything like that. So a pretty cool little option that I really liked and um, definitely took a little bit of time to get all this wiring down. But um, one last little thing I'll, I'll show you as well. If you were to unplug this, unplug the goal zero, move it out of the way. I actually made a little hidden compartment so you can always get to his wiring back here. So you got the switch, you got your fuse block, and all the other little bits and pieces, your little negative terminal. So that's kind of cool. Just in case anything happens or fuse goes out, you can easily get to that. Pop this little guy back in, and it's all hidden. Nice and clean. We'll set up, plug these back in, look the input back in, and once again, the input watts will go back up in a couple seconds here, so it starts charging his goal zero. So in here, on this little um, cabinetry area, uh, the customer really wanted to have a little uh, lip on his countertop here, just so if he ever wanted to set anything up here while he was um, driving and moving campsites or something like that, it wouldn't fall out. It also gave me a little area to caulk so that in case water were to spill, it wouldn't fall over the cabinet and come down here. So I caulked this all in with some clear caulking, raised the sink up a little bit because of how tight it is down here. Um, the little sink faucet also flips down just in case um, so you don't break that off or anything. So that actually gives you a pretty large area. Throw your backpack up there. You can have a plate or a, you know, a little kind of chopping board or something like that if you were stuck inside your vehicle. So a pretty cool little you know, addition to the whole build. There's a couple little pieces that go here I want to show you. He wanted to have two extra pieces to fit inside of his build so he could make a larger bed in case he ever had, you know, another person sleeping with him or just wanted a larger bed area. So these will fit in here like so. He wanted one of them to be up here. As kind of like a little nightstand. So once you have his, he has just a single mattress in here, you can have a nice little nightstand area to put water bottle, phone, things like that. So that was kind of a cool idea. You can throw a bag or something under there and um, not take up the entire room. So then there's a second piece. The second piece just goes right in to this side. Now it makes a pretty, oops. There we go. A pretty massive area. This entire area now is nearly four feet. That's 46 inches. That right there is 72 and a half. So nearly four foot by six foot. So that's actually a pretty good area for sleeping two people. All in all, came out really clean. Hope he's pretty excited about it. He'll be here in a couple minutes and um, it's kind of a fun little build. Had some different wiring things that I hadn't done before that came out really clean and uh, helped out with his design, his idea. And I think it's a pretty awesome little setup for somebody who has a smaller truck like this, a little six foot truck bed instead of the big eight foot truck beds. He fit a lot in a small area and I think he'll really like it. So thanks for watching. As I said, any of the little uh, details used in the build, the goal zero, water pump, um, switches and things like that, I'll link in the description of the video below. As well, if you're looking for any products from Renogy, a company I work with, there's a coupon code in the uh, description below that you can enter on their website to get 10% off Renogy products like solar panels, batteries, 
battery chargers and things like that. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.